Hello, my dear. We studied together all of the conditionals before. Today, we will revise all of them. But let's first compare between the second and the third conditional. Look at the first sentence here. If I saw a car accident, comma, I would call an ambulance. This is in the present time and the future time. But I don't see an accident now. This is unlikely to happen. Let's look at the second sentence. If I had seen a car accident, comma, I would have called an ambulance. But I didn't see an accident yesterday. This is contrary. Contrary means the opposite to the fact in the past. So, the first sentence is in the present time. The second one is in the past time. The difference, second and third conditional. The difference is about time. Second conditional refers to the present and future, like the first conditional. And the third conditional refers to the past situations. Again, the second is in the present and the future, the same like the first, but the first, the, the, the situation is likely to happen, and in the second, the situation is unlikely to happen. But the third conditional, it refers to the past situations. Here, we have four sentences, okay, for all of the conditionals. The zero conditional. Look here. If he drives carefully, he avoids the accident. This is general time reference. Here we can say that we are giving advice. It's a general truth. So, the two sentences are in the present simple tense. First conditional, if he drives carefully, he will avoid the accident tomorrow. This is still possible to happen. This is still possible to happen. It's in the future or the present time. The second conditional, if he drove carefully, he would avoid the accident today. But he doesn't drive carefully. This is unlikely to happen. So, what is the difference between one and two? Both of them are in the present time or the future time. But the first, it's likely to happen. It's possible to happen. But the second one is unlikely to happen. Okay. And as you see here, the first verb is in the present simple tense, which is next to if. And the second sentence with well plus bad infinitive verb. And we can start with it. We can say... He will avoid the accident tomorrow if he drives carefully. Let's look at the second. Here we have past simple tense, and here we have would plus avoid. We can start with this one. We can say he would avoid the accident today if he drove carefully. Let's look at the third conditional. If he had driven carefully, he would have avoided the accident yesterday. This is in the past time, but he didn't drive carefully, so he didn't avoid the accident, so he was involved in the accident. So, to sum up, zero for the general truth or the scientific fact or giving advice. First, in the present time or the future time and the situations are likely to happen. Second, also in the present time or the future time, but the situations are unlikely to happen. Third, it's in the past tense, past time, okay? And it's not based on facts that happened in the past. That was our lesson today. I hope that you enjoyed it. See you soon, inshallah. Goodbye.